no nation which expects to be the leader of other nations can expect to stay behind in this race for space. Hello and welcome to the Terran Space Academy where we help prepare you for a bright future in the space industry. History was made when the Terran 1 rocket roared into space on the 23rd of March, 2023. Lots of space companies have used 3D printed engines. Here we see the nine Eon engines go through their final testing. But this is the first rocket with 3D printed structural components to ever launch. Other rockets have had 3D printed parts but the Terran 1, built by Relativity Aerospace, has a 3D printed structure. Here you can see the Stargate printers making the tank and common dome. As the rocket launches, it climbs into the night sky. burning a bright blue, fading into orange. That is because this rocket is making history for another reason. This is also the first methane burning rocket to ever launch. Now technically, the Terran 1 is burning liquid natural gas, which is about 85% unrefined methane with some propane, butane, and other hydrocarbons mixed in. This is less expensive than pure refined methane, but a little less predictable. The booster worked perfectly, launching the rocket far above the Kármán line. Second stage separation went fine, and everything was on track for Relativity to make it to orbit on their first launch. And then this happened. Here we see the engine lighting for a few seconds, then going out. Later we'll see several relight attempts. For whatever reason, the second stage engine did not stay lit and it could not be restarted. The second state engine had worked perfectly when tested on Earth. But on Earth we have a heavy atmosphere, helping to hold combustants in one place. In space, we literally have an infinite vacuum, rapidly removing the propellants from the combustion chamber. This can make in-space ignition very tricky. Pump too much of your combustants into the chamber, and you could get a hard start basically an explosion in the combustion chamber. Don't pump enough, and the gas mixture might be too thin to ignite. For whatever reason, the engine failed and the second stage was not able to make it to orbit. But Terran 1, built by Relativity Aerospace, is still the first 3D printed structure to survive Max-Q, and the first methane or liquid natural gas fueled rocket to make it to space. This is an incredible success. If you had told me five years ago that neither SpaceX nor Blue Origin would launch the first methane-fueled rocket to space, I don't think I would have believed you. Now the question is, who will make history by launching the first methane-fueled rocket into orbit? SpaceX is planning their transorbital Starship launch next month. The ship will use the methane-fueled Raptor engines but that ship won't go into a stable orbit. Vulcan, after many delays, is scheduled to fly with the methane-burning BE-4 engines, made by Blue Origin, at the end of this year. So the question is, after making history as the first structurally 3D printed rocket to survive Max-Q, and the first liquid natural gas fueled rocket to make it to space, can Relativity solve their second stage ignition problem? To make history again is the first methane fueled rocket to achieve a stable orbit. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for listening and stay safe. At Astra Proterra. Thank you.
As you heard from our launch director, we did have an anomaly with stage two during flight. But maiden launches are always exciting and today's flight was no exception. Although we didn't reach orbit, we significantly exceeded our key objectives for this first launch. And that objective was to gather data at max Q, one of the most demanding phases of flight and achieve stage separation. Today's flight data will be invaluable to our team as we look to further improve our rockets, including Terran Arc.